Radio Survivors, Paul Reismodel here. I'm one of the editors of RadioSurvivor.com and a co-founder, and this is our first ever vlog, I believe. And uh, it's something I've been wanting to do for quite some time, and just never quite got around to it. And in this particular one, I'm going to do an HD radio band scan. And go off the dial listening to various uh, HD signals, HD radio signals here in Portland, Oregon. And I want to do that because I'm, I'm fascinated by the HD radio technology, because, and in particular because it offers additional sub-channels. So you have your main digital channel, which is really just the same program as your main analog channel for each station. But then there's also an HD2 and an HD3, or maybe even an HD4 in some cases, which offers additional programming that I think very few people hear, because very few people have HD radios. Uh, especially they don't have HD radios at home, even though a lot of AV home theater receivers have HD radio. I think a lot of people don't use them for radio. They never even hook up an antenna. Um, so they mostly hear HD radio in the car, but to get an HD signal, you pretty much have to, like, look for it. You're not going to hit seek or scan and get that HD signal coming up, at least not the HD2 or the HD3. You may get the HD1, which is the main analog program, but a lot of times you'll never even notice it. You're, 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 it'll just sort of go from the analog to the digital signal. Sometimes uh, there's a stutter or things, there's like a blip where, uh, because they're out of sync, you'll hear it, but a lot of times you don't even notice. But then to get to the HD2 or 3, you're going to have to go for it. You have to actually look for it. It's not going to scan and find it. But nevertheless, it's sort of interesting, so even though I'm a critic of HD radio, because I think it's sort of a, a compromised technology that just really kind of doesn't work for its intended purpose, um, if you can kind of tune into these stations, it's kind of fun. So I do have a home receiver, because I'm a radio nerd. Uh, it's a Sony XDR F1 HD. They don't make them anymore. I got it on clearance when, they're, when it had been discontinued, so I paid about 50 bucks when they probably cost about 150 uh, when they were new and uh, hook it up to just the antenna it comes with, which is a single wire, um, you know, because that's kind of how the average person would use it. And, you know, I'm sure some radio nerd would be like, well, if you want to get all the signal, all the stations in, you want to get them in well, you really need to have, like, an outdoor antenna. But most people don't do that for radio anymore. Um, if they use an antenna at all, it'll be the antenna that it comes with. So that's, that's what I'm doing here. I live near downtown Portland, so I live pretty close to a lot of the transmitters, so I tend to get pretty good radio reception. In general, most stations uh, tend to come in. So we're just going to listen to all the HD signals here in Portland, Oregon. And I'm already tuned in to KMHD uh, FM, which is at Mount Hood Community College. And they operate this station in cooperation with Oregon Public Broadcasting. And it's a mostly all jazz format. And so we're locked onto the HD1 signal. And it's just mirroring what's on the uh, regular analog signal. And we'll go to their HD2. And the HD2 signal uh, is an indie rock format. Um, I listen on occasion. I've never heard a DJ, so as far as I know, it's just automated. Um, but, you know, it plays a nice kind of mix of, of indie rock. Um, and because there's no commercials and really no DJs, it's uh, kind of nice, actually, because the music flow never gets disturbed. And I'm pretty sure that they also offer up uh, this signal online. Um, at the KMHD website. So the next signal is the classical music station here in Portland, um, KQAC. So on the HD1 channel they have, of course, the same as their analog, which is classical music. And then on the HD2 channel, they don't tell you what's playing. So you have to guess by what? By listening. So it was only in this band scan today that I found that, that KQAC has these uh, HD sub-channels. I've never heard them before. So, and so this HD2 channel sounds kind of like indie rock. And then there's a sub-channel number three. Well, I guess I should have known that, but it's actually X-Ray uh, is on their HD uh, 3 channel. Um, X-Ray is a local uh, community radio station uh, that took over uh, the station from Reed College, which is an old Class D 10-watt station. So they don't have a lot of coverage, and um, that, that reminds me that, the, that they are on the HD2 channel here on KQAC. And then they also have a translator at 107.1 FM, but they're all analog. They're not digital at all. 
And then this is unusual that KQAC has an HD4 channel. So it's three full sub channels. And you gotta remember that's all digital. So it's using the same amount of bandwidth that say just one, uh, that I'm sorry, that, that two channels would be using on uh, say the KMHD, right? They just have HD one and two. Here there's four, so it's split four ways, all that bandwidth, which means that the audio quality tends to go down, especially when you get down to the fourth channel. So now we're, we're on KOPB, we'll go to the HD2, which is OPB Music, kind of a AAA um, adult album alternative um, format, and uh, they do have hosts, they have DJs, and my uh, well, from my listening to it, they have DJs all day, and then in the evening, they just replay the daytime programming. I don't think they have DJs at night, but it's, it, you know, they focus a lot on Northwest music, music from Portland area in, in Seattle, and of course, uh, things that are popular across the country and AAA and indie rock. Um, but it's a nice mix of music, and I think most people who listen, though, don't hear it on HD radio, they hear it on the uh, OPB website. Uh, so it's mostly a streaming station, but it also has this presence on HD2. Our local classic rock station, KGON, KGON, is also on HD at 92.3. They're getting the let out right now, which is not unexpected. And then uh, on their HD2 now, they are seem to be running a lot of metal. Um, they used to have a different format, if I recall correctly. I haven't listened to their HD2 recently, but now they're playing Motorhead on uh, KGON HD2. All right, my next signal is KNRK, which is uh, an alternative rock station, commercial alternative here in Portland. And my receiver is having a hard time latching on to KNRK, at least in terms of HD. Again, you'll see I've got plenty of signal, and now we're on HD, and then we're not. Another Again, this is why HD radio is a little frustrating. And that's because the digital signal actually runs at much lower power levels than the main analog signal. So you might say, well, why don't they just boost the HD? This is the digital signal, then people will get it in better. The problem is because uh, the HD signal sits on either side of your main... Uh, so just think about your band, right? Not, you know, you start at 88 and you go to 108 here. Um, if you think of this as, as your radio band, um, station takes up this much space, well, the HD radio makes it a little fatter. So if you have a station here and it gets a lot more power, you start getting interference. That's why the HD signal runs at a lower power. So I'd love to be getting in KNRK's HD signal. You'll see I've got my, my antenna kind of strung up here in my window. But it seems like unless I sit here and hold the antenna, it doesn't want to work. So we're not going to listen. We're going to scan on. All right. Now we have KYCH at 97.1 FM. We've got some free... Another moldy oldie, I think, here uh, on their main channel. We'll go to HD2. Get a little We Are Family, Sister Sledge. And they only run the HD1 and the HD2 here. So we've got a country station, KWJJ, here at 99.5 FM, playing us some Taylor Swift. On the HD one. He's a big boy. Yeah. Well, to be fair, if you have multi-million dollars at HD two, we have a simulcast of <laughs> AM Sports Talk. I mean, you're like um, in Baltimore. You one of the reasons you that uh, stations I mean, will do that sometimes, we'll we'll have an AM station rebroadcast on an HD two channel. It's not just because they might what? get more yeah, listeners, although. That's probably less the, the point than it is the fact that then they can use that to feed a translator, a repeater somewhere else on the FM dial. Uh, so that uh, basically they can turn an AM station to a full fledged analog <laughs> FM. We're at 100.3 FM now, which is our contemporary hit radio station here in Portland. On HD2, they run something a little bit more like uh, alt-rock. There seems to be an awful lot of alt-rock and indie rock on these HD uh, sub-channels. Um, 
it's interesting to me. I'm not really sure why. Mostly because I don't think that management pays a lot of attention to what other stations are running on their HD sub channels. Portland's new Radio 1023. It's all about the music, specifically your music. So that's interesting. So it's Radio 1023 on their HD2 sub channel. So 1023 is the newest commercial alternative station in town. And they're also being run on another station, co owned, of course. Um, on their HC2 channel, this is the HC2 of the uh, contemporary hit radio station. I'm not sure what the strategy is there. Maybe 102.3 has uh, a less good uh, footprint. Maybe it's more of a fringe signal. I'm not sure off the top of my head. Curious though. And here's yet another commercial alternative station here in Portland, Oregon. We have a lot of them. Kink, K-I-N-K, at 101.9 FM. They are an HD radio. I'm going to give a slow clap, Tumor. I mean, that's really good. Play a doubleheader. So they're also running a sports talk station, an AM sports talk station, on their HD2 channel, um, like, like another station does. So here's uh, kind of a hot adult contemporary station, Best Variety, uh, 103.3 FM K103, a call letters KKCW, they are in HD, they're playing a commercial now, we'll check out their sub-channels. So under HD2, Smooth Jazz, which is probably one of the few places that Smooth Jazz still lives on the FM dial in most cities these days. Air 1 is the format here on their HD3. It says positive hits. I believe that's code for Christian. I've been trying to tune in KRSK at 105.1 FM. You can see the little HD radio light is blinking, but it does not want to lock onto an HD signal. Too weak here in uh, my humble Portland abode. Oh my God. He's hit on the new 106.7 The Eagle. So now we're at The Eagle, 106.7 FM, KLTH. I think this is our last HD station on the FM dial here in Portland, Oregon. And they're playing us 80s. So a little Paul Abdul for you there. Some Gary Puckett here on uh, Gary Puckett and Union Gap here on the HD2 channel for KLTH. So clearly doing some some oldies. Chicken, mashed potatoes and gravy, a biscuit. We've actually got one last HD station all the way up at 107.5 FM. It's our. Uh, Basically our urban hit station, Jammin 107.5. Right now they're playing commercials. On HD2. We're getting some Coldplay. So it could be some kind of pop radio. Could be uh, Too Wild. Portland's Dance Channel. So the HD2 channel is dance music, as advertised here. Too wild. And no HD3. So that's it. We've made it all the way around the FM dial here in Portland, Oregon, and tuned in as many HD stations as I could. So if you live in Portland and you don't have an HD radio, well, you see what you're missing. Um, if you live anywhere else and don't have an HD radio, you see that you're really not missing too much and that most of those formats that are worth listening to, frankly, are online, such as the OPB Music or the Alternative Music uh, channels 
on uh, some of the uh, HD2 and HD3 channels. So, kind of nice to tune in if you can, if you've got an HD radio, but really, nothing uh, that you're really missing out on, nothing too special. So, I hope that was fun for uh, folks who wanted to uh, experience a little bit of HD radio. Once again, I'm Paul Reese Manel, and thanks for watching the Radio Survivor Vlog number one.